Hi guys, I'm back. I moved recently and I started resin. I wanted to show you some pieces, but these are all unfinished and either have mistakes or need to be domed. I have this one, I just, it was extra resin. Detailing is not great. It is the doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. You can see it better from the back. The paint job is not that great. I will fix the paint and then do some color on the back when I actually is back because it has this lip right now. And then when I glazed the back, well, when I domed it, I didn't really glaze it. It spilled over and I have a baking mat so the numbers are there and but that's the back. This is pretty yellow, but I did sparkly yellow for it. I just have to fix this. Either try to peel the spillover off or attempt to do another layer of resin. But I had it put a little eye hook in it and a um, jump ring. I also got a new mold recently, which are these fairy doors. I did this. I did not realize it had swirls. I did not paint it. I don't think you can see them. Um, I did not paint it in the mold. I painted it outside of the mold and I had accidentally burnt it a little trying to pop bubbles, but I can fix that. I'm just going to paint right here white so you don't see it anymore. And then there's this one. I did pink, but the pink and the hearts spill over. The back's not done yet. There's also this little one. I actually got all the details in. It smeared a bit, but I think it's still cute. I still have to do the back. It's got spillover, but it's okay because the back's not done yet. And then this is the other fairy door. Also painted it when it wasn't in the mold. So it also had spillover on the back, but the back isn't actually done. And then a 8-bit heart mold that I just recently got, I painted the sides black after it was done. However, the spillover got on the magnet, so I have to peel it off. And then put a little bit of resin right here, maybe. But I think it'll be okay without it. And then I have another one because it was a two piece. Also, the same thing. Back's not done, spill over. I have a leafy on mold. It has a tiny bit of spillover right here and then a bunch on the back, but the back needs to be fixed like really bad. I might remake this. And then my jack magnet, which is a bit rough. But it is for me, and it was my first pour, and after painting the mold and everything, I still need to sand in his eyes because that's excess paint. I need to put better magnets on it because these, these did not stick to my fridge. And then there's this, which was a tombstone cupcake. It has bubbles in the letters, which I guess are okay, but it's kind of annoying at the same time. I painted the bottom. My painting is not that great. I'm still getting used to it. I still need to sand and it had spillover. So to fix the spillover and then still do the back, even though it's super shiny, but there's this, but there's this lip, but it's not too bad, but there's still spillover. <laughs> over I hate so much like this I sanded because it had spillover and I might just remake it as you can see where I sanded a bit on the back as well I thought it was really cute though oh well this is pretty much a fail and then I have a I got a vampire teeth mold for really cheap at Walmart on Halloween on Halloween but right here it's got spillover I'm not sure how to fix this without, like, because it, it just falls over. But then, I also did this. 
I had difficulty with his eyes. Like, I, I love this goose. He, it's super cute. Like, I don't even care that there is, like, little random excess glitter because I made it for myself. And then the magnet I have to fix right here because of that spillover. And then put a little bit of resin around the magnet. And then maybe put a new magnet on it when it still sticks to the fridge. And then there's this bat with the heart, but it has a little bit of spillover right here. And then a lot on the back and I still need to try to fix it. I haven't gotten to it yet. And then this was also a new mold, but spill over here, and then here, and then all on the back, when at the front. I really hate spillover. Like, my surface is flat, like, completely flat. And I don't know if I'm just pouring too much resin, which is probably the case. But there's super, super spillover here. But, like, this, this is, like, nice and smooth, though, but this isn't. And then... The back isn't even done yet. This says, haha, I got a Harley Quinn and Joker, like, classic ice cube mold from Party City. It does have a little bit of spillover, but I think that's okay. I could fix that. But I can't get it to adjust. It's black and red and green and purple glitter and then the outsliding is black but like I said there's spillover. This however is not perfectly flat because I had put this on. So I have to make a little like makeshift surface for this and then my first fairy door mold that I got and just fixed it. But, oh, sorry, I dropped it. I did not, I have not gotten to the back yet. So there's this tiny bit of spillover. I need to do another layer of paint first. So it's not, like, all blotchy. But this is for me. So I can put on the back of my door. And then... I made a cameo piece. Back is just all black. The pigment, however, I used eyeshadow pigment that was super crushed, but it didn't blend all the way. I don't know if you could see it, but then I got spillover on the pearl, and I'm not sure. I think I could probably get that off. But then, there's a fingerprint. I don't think anyone's going to notice too much, but I did these little pearls, and then it's Totoro... And his two little friends, whose names I can never remember. And then I just put a clear bail on it. So I just might do another layer of resin on the front. And then I also did this. It's a chandelier. I only use this mold once. Didn't like it. So when this is fully finished, because, oh no, that's, that's on the front. Oh no, that's spillover, but the back is like perfect minus this little bit of spillover right here. And then what goes onto the front where the eye hook is. So this might actually be a complete fail and I might make another piece before I sell the mold. But who knows yet, I'm not sure. And then there's this bat. I needed to get the resin off of the bobby pin. But otherwise, it is okay. And then there's like this random chunk of glitter from another piece. But, which I sent off in a trade, so I cannot show you. It's this trinket box, and there's this tiny bit of spillover right here, which I can fix. And then... Another haha, -ha, but this is all purple and green for Joker. And then this one just says ha. I do not use all my bunnies, so I made them ring bases after the rings were glued on so I could do the top. But this is spillover, so I just need to dome the top and sand the side right there. 
and then I also did this. My sticker was completely sealed and it's still, still messed up. So I might try to put a new sticker on it. And then it has this dab. Actually, no, there's two, if you can see that, of spillover. And then I just still haven't fixed the back because at first I did not dome this. This did not have the ring back on it. This might be a complete fail. So I might just toss it. And then I have a chocobo mold. And I'm really sad that it spilled over on the front because there's still that tight any bit of spillover on the back but otherwise it is all soft well not soft smooth on the back sorry this is getting really long and then like that and then my friend's birthday is coming up and she's a scorpio so i made her this because i have zodiac molds now and i need to stand right here Maybe do another layer of paint and then just glaze it because the paint separated and then got air pockets even though there was no bubbles in the resin. So that's actually in the paint. Like all that imperfection. So I'm just going to do another layer of pink after I sand right here. And then I have a bat. Which needs just a tad bit more resin. But this is for me, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then up here, I have this piece for my mom. I want it to look like amber, so I left the bubbles in it. Sorry, I'm going to fix this real quick because there's excess resin right there, it seems. Sorry, that's like super uneven, but ignore that. Yeah. And then my other friend discovered me on his birthday is also coming up, but I wanted it the the symbol to be a little transparent around the edges, so I left it that way, but he likes blue, so I did blue glitter. And I taped around the sides for I don't get any spillover, and then on the bottom. And then there's this. This had spillover, and that's what I'm trying to fix right now. This is the back, though. And I so totally put this in the wrong spot. This is supposed to be, like, over here. But it can stay there. It will look cute still. But this has a bigger a snowflake on the front, and then little ones around it. Because this is the back. This needs another layer of paint when it's dry because it spilt when I domed the front before I put the these on so I'm waiting for this to dry from these like they're they're almost dry because they're not moving and then to fix it and then this is my mat. It's a bit dirty right now. It's just a silicone baking mat. And then we'll go over here. In this bucket are pieces that are done, but that are semi-fails. Not all of them are fails, though. Like, here's some of my jacks that I have left from my Jack Ice Cube mold that I bought from a lady in a Facebook group. And there's this made of glow under glitter. So it was this, but this has got sparkle glitter in it as well. This I tried to do a cloud effect with the glow paint and the glow glitter. These, the white paint, either separated or smeared. And, but 
they still actually glow and this one has silver in it. I'm probably just going to keep these for myself and make them into maybe candy or something. And also in the bucket is this pink bunny which was made for someone who ended up not wanting it so I took the hook out, painted the sides and the back and put a magnet on it. This pink bunny was also made for that person. So this still has the little eyelet in it. And it's got pink glitter and then like a pink with a little bit of yellow uh, sparkles. And then this pumpkin, which was kind of a fail. But I think I might just take this downstairs and put it in my fridge. Because I made it into a magnet. And then I just made this the other day. It's Alice and it's one of the drink me bottles with blue and silver and white confetti glitter. This is the back. You can see where I put the, the ice screw in. I might maybe do another layer. Actually, no. I'm going to leave it like this. And then this was a fail and I fixed it by gluing little rhinestones on it and then I put a bell on it and I painted the back I just left it matte like matte black instead of shiny but at the time all I had was off white white, yellow, pink and purple which look exactly the same in this light right now and blue and then greens as well and then I had a glow jack heart and the back is also glowy. I did paint in the mold for this. I still not that good at painting, but I did make this a while ago. I made this the butterfly necklace with it's not gonna the sticker is super shiny. Sorry about that. Here you're there you go. It's got uh yellow and purple flowers and then the white it was clear and then I did some glow white but it separated a bit right here and I put it on a necklace and it's the back so I don't think anyone's really gonna care if they end up taking it and then this little star one and I have a star eraser in it and star glitter with also glow white which also separated around the edges but I think it gives a cool effect and then this bat, I need to glaze right there still. I sanded it so it has more of a little detail, so it needs to be glazed. I need more glaze first, but then the clip is a bit rough. It needs to be cleaned from um, when I had spray glaze. I had spray glazed the back of it. So, and then a blue bonnie. With a blue outline, blue glitter, and a little bit of green glitter. And then the backing is green with a magnet, which I need to replace. Because I had gotten resin on it, but it still sticks to the fridge for the most part. And then I made the Sailor Moon wand with yellow confetti glitter. And painted right here white, put a white gem on it so it's a bit 3D. And right here pink, so it has the detail a bit. Felt on the back and a pin. A purple bat, which was like a miscellaneous of like some purple and a little bit of white. And that's how it turned out, but it had got in this like black-ish grayish tint right here and blue but I still think it's cute and makes it a little unique and it's on a clip it's one of these type clips and then Harley keychain this is for my friend it is a bit rough but I don't think she'll care 
and I painted the mold itself and then I poured in white resin and I also added the, the eye hook, the key ring, and then the jump ring in between it. This is, it's got Halloween sprinkles in it, but it's a bat, and then the back is yellow. It Well, it's white and yellow, like the, it's glow, but I did the white first and the yellow, and the yellow kind of, but I'm gonna make a Halloween decoration out of it for next year so because and I don't care if there's a little bit spilled it's for myself and then this coffin cameo when I first made it there was nothing in the center so I mod podged this spider on and then resin over it put the bell on and then some felt this is from my Alice in Wonderland set. It says, that way, it's the sign, it's orange. Painted in the detail, added a ring back. I have to clean up the ring a bit. And then I'll list it on my Etsy. And then I just made this the other day. It's one of those frost stickers. It says, drink me. I probably should have painted the back first, but it's white glitter, confetti glitter, and then this aqua backing. So it gives it that detail on the front. And then I have a kitty ring, which messed up a little bit on. Then a bunny. This won't focus. There it goes. And then another bunny, which is glowing dark like the other, but this has black instead of blue. Well, like the kitty, not the other, because the other one is green. And then, last but not least, well, not last but not least, second to last is this, this kitty cat. I have made other pieces. I've given them away. I'll show you what's in here real quick. The other pieces in that box were given to me in a trade. I just haven't gotten to hang them up yet. This I made for myself. It is a bit rough, but I still think it's super cute. And I wanted the paint to show a little bit in the back because there was this big air bubble. And I wanted it to still be shiny. So I didn't do that much paint, but I did paint the sides and then right here to make it like a frame. And then I used blues and I tried to keep the air bubbles in it. You can see a bit when you get closer where I burned it a bit, I'm trying to pop air bubbles with a lighter. Well, now I know that you should not hold it that close or for that long. It's another reason I painted it right here so you don't see so much of it. But otherwise, that's everything that I have made that I still have. I will probably post a room tour because I do not have a craft area quite yet. And then show you everything else but like for go this is my favorite jack skeleton that i made it's so glowy and he looks so cranky you know there's tiny air bubbles but it's okay well hope everyone has been having a good year so far and i will try to post more well until next time